<laughs> Michael, we've got to talk about this. You have a huge... A it's huge. A huge. Watch. <laughs> Where are we going? You have a huge... <laughs> yes. ..world tour. Yay! Happening next year. You're oh. playing arenas oh. all over the world. Yeah. Sell out arenas everywhere. However, I didn't know this. There is mm. one country where you are huge, and it's an unexpected country that you would be so big. T tell us where you are, where you think you are the most famous. Well, I, you are looking at Norway's biggest <laughs> comedian. Um, how does... Go on, go no on. idea. No idea how that happened. Um, they love me in Norway. I sell out huge oh. arenas, they go crazy. They don't... English is obviously not their first language. Um, <laughs> they laugh wildly. I think they're there to practice their English. I think, right. I think literally anyone could go there and sell yeah, arenas. And if they don't get the joke, they laugh harder to prove to their friends that they get it. But you were on, like, the front of the newspapers and stuff when you landed Comedy in Norway, King. right? I That's couldn't they believe call it. it. The yes. Comedy King. Yes. Yeah, the first place I went to was Bergen. Huge excitement. I felt like One Direction. Um, <laughs> and they were very excited because apparently it's the place that rains more than anywhere else in Europe. Um, but I got there and it wasn't raining. There was no rain. Um, but I got into the taxi and the windscreen wipers are on. You know when the windscreen wipers are on and they make that noise? That, yeah. Arr, arr, arr. And I said to the driver, I said, excuse me, it's not raining. And he just went, it will. So it was in advance. <laughs> wow. Yeah. A preemptive they never turn wipe. them off. <laughs> a preemptive wipe. <laughs> well, I, I cannot wait. Next time you go to Norway, I would, yes. I, that's where you should do your next special. Your next Netflix special, you should do it live from Bergen. Um, Netflix recommended my own special to me. It was a 98% a match for me. <laughs> but my wife, 62% match on her. <laughs> my wife, Netflix has decided I shouldn't be with my wife. Wow. I should be with myself. You should basically. be with yourself 98% <laughs> of the time. Literally, yeah. 30% more compatible with myself. Now, we've got to talk about The White Lotus. The season two finale it was just on Sunday. It didn't disappoint. Arguably one of the biggest TV shows of the year. I want to know, because the show has just caught fire in such an incredible way, how has your life changed this past two months that it's been on? Do people come up to you? People must come up and talk to you about it all the time. Yes, it's a little bit unsettling. It's cool, but it's like unsettling because I'm not a very aware pers a person like just walking through the grocery store to begin with. But then like now I'm like, oh, people watch this show. Anyways, mm -hmm. can I tell you the most proud moment of my career? Yes. Can I? Yes. Because it's like a big deal for me. Go on. Okay, so it's a different audience than most things I've done before because I've done a lot of like coming of age, teen sure. centered things. And this is like much more adult and... Um, adult mm. and I love strip clubs and I go frequently to this place called Jumbo's Clown Room. Woo. If anyone that's a great place. Um I might even go later tonight. We'll see. Anyways. Um this story but... has taken a very unexpected turn. <laughs> Can we do a U-turn where possible? <laughs> go on. Well okay let's see here. What happens next? So I'm at Jumbo's yeah and I'm like I'm very, very invested in the pole dancers. Like, I love pole dancers. You and have I, to invest in them. You Otherwise, they don't do their job. No, literally, my whole entire salary of... Yeah. Give it up for pole dancers. Yeah. All the money I've ever made <laughs> goes to $1 bills at, at Jumbo's. Anyway, so I'm at Jumbo's. I'm in the front row. You I'm making what? it rain. It suits you so well when you do that. <laughs> Go on. Go on. Carry on. Come on. So you're making it rain. I'm making it rain at Jumbo's, and there's and, this... and there's a lady stripping. Yes, there's yeah. this woman right. who I'm a big fan of. She was dancing. I was cheering the whole time. I was on the edge of my seat, literally. And then she's done, and you know they get on all fours and they like pick up all their ones, and it's like the most powerful, beautiful thing I've ever seen. And she's picking up all her ones. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, oh. And she. So she's picking up all her ones on her on all fours, and she passes me, and I'm like, "You did great, you're beautiful." And she was like, she looked at me right in the eye, and she was like, "It'd be a sin if I didn't tell you you're great on the show." And I was like, <laughs> I was like, "What the?" F and she was like, "I just had to say it." And I was like, "I'm a big fan." She's like, "I'm a big fan," and it's the proudest moment for oh, me. <laughs> A Jumbo's Clown Room. Yes. Let's take a look at a clip from the White Lotus Season oh. 2. It's available right now on. <laughs>